Today in this video, we're going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to replace a broken garage door spring. Now the first step, obviously, is to determine that you do in fact have a broken garage door spring. If you look above, you'll see two springs. Uh, the one on my right is, in fact, not broken. The one on my left is broken. The way you can determine this is if you look at your spring, springs will expand about one to two inches when they're wound. You can clearly see there's a one to two inch gap in that spring, which tells us it's broken. Now the next step is safety first. We're gonna to wanna to unplug this operator so no one inadvertently hits it while we're working on the springs. Simply pull the cord and we're safe. Now you wanna make sure that if your operator has a battery backup, you detach the arm itself from the garage door. In order to do this, just pull your cord here and you're good to go. Um, now, another thing that we'd like you to do, take a pair of ice grips and just above one of your rollers on the track itself, just clamp it right down there. This is for if your springs are too loaded or too hot when you go and wind them later, the door doesn't rise up by itself. All right, now the next step is to unwind the unbroken spring. Now this is the most important step you have to do. We never want to work on a torsion system when a spring is wound. We're going to take a 7 16 wrench and we're going to undo your set screws here. Now we're going to be using a 3 8 squared socket which makes it a lot quicker. We do this a lot every day so we don't use wrenches. Um, so we're going to take your winding bar. Please, please, please make sure that you guys use winding bars that are certified for garage door systems. You don't want to use rebar or something like that. We just don't recommend it. Make sure it fits snugly in there. So you're going to take your bar, stick it in your tooth, make sure it's in there good and tight. Take your wrench and you're going to make sure you have a good and strong grip on this and very slowly you'll feel the pressure of that spring on your hand. There's two of them going back here. And right now I have all that tension on that spring. So I'm slowly going to let it down. And that is holding that. So we're going to take your other bar, put it in here. It's going to prop it up really slightly, make sure that's good and in there, and slide this next bar out and let this one down. Now an average spring has about 30 quarter turns on the spring, so you're going to do that 30 times. So again, you're going to put it in here, prop it up a little bit, pull your next bar out, and just do that 30 times. Now the next step, after we have determined that both springs are unwound, we're going to undo these center bolts that hold the springs together. You're going to use a 9 16 wrench. Uh, we use power tools. Uh, probably don't want to watch an hour video of us undoing every bolt. So just take, undo both bolts here. Pull the front apart. And move on to the next step. Now that our springs are apart, we're going to go over to our cable drums and loosen them up. You'll notice that the cables are in fact slack, so we're just going to take your 7 16 wrench again, come in here, loosen up your bolts, make sure they're good and out, slide it over, and move on to the next one. Now for this drum, we zoomed in a little bit so you can see my hands working. Again, there's two set screws on here. Take your 7 16 wrench, loosen them both up. This is a file. Now these are your old set screw marks. Sometimes when you're sliding your springs off your tube, you'll notice that you'll have a difficult time sliding past those. So take the time, slide your spring back, take your file, you're just gonna go right on the set screw marks and you're gonna file away any burrs that would cause that spring not to slide smoothly along that shaft. And you'll notice, slides right past. All right, now that we have all of our set screw marks filed down, you'll notice that this tube will slide back and forth easy for us. We're gonna take the springs and slide them off both ends. So take your spring here, slide it down. You're gonna take your tube, pull it. You'll notice it'll pop off your bracket. Come over here, take your drum, slide it off. This edge to the side, take your spring, just slide it off. Get your new spring. You notice on the left side of the torsion system there is a red wound right hand wound spring. 
Come up your ladder here, slide it on the tube. Slide it down, take your drum, slide it back on. Take your tube, put it back in your end bracket. Hold down enough, you'll see the other side pop loose for me. Go to that side, do the same thing. Slide the drum off. Just put it over here to the side. Take both ends of this broken spring. up of putting everything back on. Just slide it in. You'll notice that my set screw marks are filed down. Everything slides real easy. Just take it and push it right back into your end bracket plate there. And now we're going to mount the springs together in the center. All right, now that we got our springs on there, we're going to attach them in the center. Notice that there's just a plastic bearing here. We only need one per pair. Just slide them together in the center here. Take your original bolts. Back up there. Again, it's a 9 16th wrench. Make sure they're getting snug. And move on to the next step. Our next step is to put our left cable on. Just take your cable here with your drum. You'll notice in your drum there's a little notch here. That's for your cable. Just slide it right in there. Make sure it's good and tight. You're going to turn your drum around with your cable there. Make sure it's feeding in there. Just push it over against the bracket. Make sure your cable is good and loose. It's not touching anything. It's good like that. Then you're going to take your set screws. You're going to tighten those up. Again, you're going to tighten them. Now, when you feel that the screw is bottoming into this tube, right when you feel that, you're going to go about a half a turn. And then the same for the other one. Fill that up right against the tube in about a half a turn. And then go back to your other one, put about a quarter turn on there, make sure it's good and tight. Okay, now that's both tight. Now the next step is you're gonna take a pair of ice grips. Take a pair of ice grips on this tube here. Make sure your cable is good and taut. Take your vice grips, put it right on that tube, secure it against your ceiling or your header. Make sure that stays like that. Make sure your tube's not going anywhere. And you're free to put on your other cable. Now we're going to put on our right cable. You're going to take your cable in here. There's a little swash in the drum. Put your cable right in there. Position it so it's in, not facing out. You're just going to take your cable, feed it on the drum. You can slide it towards your end bracket. Just keep feeding it. We get all the way there. Make sure it's that. Make sure you don't hit anything with your cable. You're going to tighten up your set screws. Now we get a lot of questions on our tech line from our website about how tight to tighten these set screws. Uh, what we like to say, just tighten them until you get to the tube. So just tighten it right there, I'm hitting the tube. So go to about a half a turn. And the same side on the other side. Hit the tube, go about a half. Come back to this one, just give about a quarter, right about there. Give this about another quarter. And that's good. Now that we got our left and right cable on, our vice grip is holding them taut with the tube, we're going to go ahead and wind up the left hand spring. Now you're going to take your winding bar. If you don't have winding bars, please get winding bars. If you use rebar or anything like that, we don't recommend it. Make sure you use a bar. Put it right in that hole there. Make sure it's good and tight. You're going to push up on your spring. Put your next bar in. Rest it against the door. Push up again. That's called a quarter turn on a spring. You're going to do that about 31 times for a seven foot door. You notice we do have a chart on our website that shows you how many turns to put on your door. Feel free to use that anytime you want. For this seven foot door, again, we're going to go 31 times. 
31. Now when you get to this point, take your bar out, let this rest against your door. Now we're going to tighten up your set screws. Make sure that bar is in there good. Now when you tighten up your set screws again, go until you hit the tube. Go about a half a turn more. Hit the tube, about a half a turn. We're going to come back to the next one. Just hit about a quarter turn, make sure it's good and in there. That's tight. Now we're free to take our torsion bar out. Make sure those are tight. Take your bar. You're going to push it up maybe an inch. Just push it up, slide this bar out. Very, very slowly. Let go. Make sure those cables aren't going anywhere. Make sure your torsion spring's not going anywhere. Pull your bar out. You're free to wind up your next spring. That's 28, 29. Now please notice when I'm winding these, I'm keeping my head clear of this cone. This is kind of the danger area when you're winding a spring. Just keep clear of this area here. If that bar were to let out, this is the last place you want to be. That's 30, 31, that's my turns. Now I've noticed in a couple other videos on the internet, um, people hit this to expand that spring out. Um, it's not necessary at all. As a professional technician, I've seen a couple of technicians do that. They get hurt pretty bad. Um, if that cone was mismanufactured or something were to go wrong, it's fine. It expands by itself. Um, so you, you're going to come back in here, take your set screws, tighten them down. Again, same as all the other ones. Go until you fill that tube right there. Go about a half turn. Same as the other side. Hit that tube, about a half turn. Come back here, just give it about a quarter turn. Quarter turn, those are tight. You're free to take your bar out again. Put your bar in here, push out about an inch. Just enough to slide this bar out. Again, let go slowly, make sure everything's good. Slide your bar out. All right, now that we got our springs wound, we're free to take off that vice grip that's holding on our cables. Um, just come up here, just take it off. You're free to raise the door now. Just come over here, make sure you have a good front grip on the door, make sure it doesn't do anything you don't want it to do. Just raise it up, make sure it's not going to go anywhere. This door appears to be pretty well balanced. Yep. Make sure your cables are staying on in the up position. They appear to be. Now if your door, if it was a little hot, meaning that it was going up by itself, or if it was still a little heavy, um, you're more than welcome to adjust your springs in. You can take a quarter or half a turn off of that. Um, while I've got one here, I'll just show you how to do that real quick. Um, come over to one of your springs. You can pick either one, it does not matter. Um, grab the winding bars. Let's say this door was a little hot, meaning it was going up all by itself. It, didn't just, it wasn't perfectly balanced. Just come up here to one of your springs, pop the torsion bar in here, make sure it's good and in there. Loosen up your set of screws. Just let a quarter or half turn off your springs just like this. That's more than enough, that does a lot. Then you're free to tighten up your set screws again. Yes, um, but the last thing you want to do is do it over again. 
Now the most important thing out of all of this, make sure you get the correct springs on the door. Uh, that's where we come in. We specialize in getting you the correct springs on your door. Um, there's all, the, all kinds of doors, different weights, different sizes of springs, different cap, this, there's a lot. There's thousands of different types of springs and we have them all in stock, ready to ship, same day we can get them to you. We get you, it's an emergency, you need them quick, we're here for you. Um, please use our tech line, we have a tech line you can call up, talk to a real service tech, we'll help you get the correct springs that you need for your door. Um, you can even send in a picture and we'll, we'll tell you what springs you need for your door. We're here for you, we want to get you the right springs. Thank you for watching our video, have a good one.